good against the Nature's Prophet. It's great against the Dusa. Uh, but then I think if you're liquid here, you might consider taking something like the Life Smack Delane. Let's give him five more mana, and I'm sure he'll kill himself with a smile on his face. This is I would love to look at GH. I think he really wants to see if he can go for it. So Fade Bolt. Could have happened, but No Tail was wise. Jerex actually blocking out that little medium camp right next to the Radiant side, which is a uh, very common advantage for Radiant and a good farming spot for a Weaver just stacking that up. Seb's taking a lot of damage here in this bottom lane, but has enough sticky napalm stacks that Liquid don't feel comfortable going for the dive just yet. They're going to go for it now, though. Shikuchi's already done so much damage. Matumman's going to take a decent amount of damage from the fire and the tower shot, but not enough to die. He secures the first blood on Seb and stays alive. And the Frost Shield. Oh, the Fissure from the Shadow oh, Jerry. Trying to block mind control a little bit. Control Honest, coming in. Off. Tries to get it with the Fate Bolt. GH does manage to get that bigger creep. Now he goes for the Fissure Block. Actually misses it, though. GH on the other side. Jerex just gives him a couple swipes, but he's actually blocked out by the strands. Now tossed up in the... Oh, no! Jerex, you spent all this time invisible for what? No tail. He's going to be chased down by GH. Actually he gets that down. kill. And Jerex, well, he's got no way down. He's got no TP scroll. Honestly, I'm not even sure if, yeah, uh, is it worth if it? he wouldn't be able to do the damage to it. Yeah. He can telekinesis it, though. If he gets any if sort he, of vision... Yeah, he's going to telekinesis the Earth Shaker. He does not have a ward, though. And Sprout is not leveled up yet. So Jerex, I don't know if he knows or, or not. He, he's like trying to keep pace with Jerex, because he can see over the cliff yeah, as long as you're right it. next to him. So Jerex is trying to get the little bit of distance. Finally, it looks like okay. they're just a, a little bit of catch and release policy, it seems. <laughs> they're going to be kind to Jerex here and let him play. I mean, the dude still has a hook in his mouth, though. <laughs> Ever since he hit level two, he's just slightly experienced after that. And now he shamefully puts the arcane orb in his quick buy, but it could have been obtained so much sooner. Minor yeah, setback for OG. I mean, he was at like 500 gold in two minutes, now four and a half. Good telekinesis toss back there. We'll get two tower shots on Anna, but maybe they've actually gone a little bit too aggressive. GH had a lot of magic wand stacks. Will be able to stay alive against that bit of aggression from OG, who continue to run out for their defensive tri lane. Running into GH here again, will be able to take off part of that healing south. Meanwhile, we can take a look at the other lands, Medusa versus Monkey King, fairly even thus far, as to be expected, especially with no rotations really happening. Although Thompson has taken a fair amount of abuse, but it looks like he may go for some boundless plays. Oh, he's going to be able to get with the Jingu stacks here, trying to man up against Miracle, but he's going to be a bit too low. Miracle wins that fight, but at top lane, it's GH who may be in trouble here, but he does have a Shrine available. Hit by the Fissure, though, and he's actually just going to run away from Ana, not popping the Shrine just yet until Mind Control joins him. That is full Shrine efficiency right there, as Miracle does manage to come in for the last little bit as well. They are going to be able to telekinesis Ana back. Mystic Snake is there. Blocks. Treants block him in even more. Jerex is going to try and come in and help Anna a bit, but these Treants just stay on top of Anna. Anna finally realizes he can turn and fight, though, with Alpha No Tail as well as the Fissure Block. GH is in trouble, and he should be dying here as the Fate Bolt will slow down a lot of this damage, but can't get through. Anna claims that kill on GH after some frustrating body blocks from Mind Control. And No Tail was critical to helping Anna survive the Aphiox Shields, the Mist Coils. Without him, Anna would have gone down for sure. But it's requiring a lot of focus. Granted, now Jerax has completed his arcane boots. And he scoops up. Seb has been alone for quite some time, and his CS is suffering because of it. 16 and 3. But at the same time, the Furion is not that far ahead. And if they can actually get this kill on Akuro, it would be massive. He's run out of mana here, does pop the stick charges, and managed to get off the frost armor. But thanks to this sticky napalm, he's going to be run down eventually here. 3 to 3. OG tying up the score. Things are looking good, at least far better than they were in the secret game, and that's currently my benchmark for OG early game capabilities. That is true, it doesn't look like this is going to... Uh, Monkey King's doing well in the mid lane, Troll Warlord's doing well in the top lane, but the Liquid Heroes are keeping the pace. And when you have a Medusa on your team... Oh, I like that. I like Jarek's positioning there. Now they're going for Miracle with a Fisher coming out. It blocks out Thompson a little bit. Thompson tried to get away, but he's routed in. And Miracle doesn't actually die. A mass rotation out from Liquid as they're going to try and catch Jarek's here as well. Thanks to the stare out from Kuro. They should be able to break oh. down Jarek's pretty easily. That TP will not. This Radiant Jungle. Trying to invade here. Take away that medium camp. Will manage to get on top of Miracle here. Getting up those Jingu stacks. Kuro. 
Should be able to protect Miracle pretty well here. Curl actually gets a little close to tops it. Oh, Jesus, that's what I thought. Curl, way too close to the Monkey King, underestimating that damage. They are going to be able to get the lasso here on the side. Pulling back the Furion with the Weaver there. We'll be able to get a really good set of bugs and Seb as well. Seb's just trying to kill Mike Control, but doesn't get him. He's just behind him. The Crit Swarm is going to come out. No tail. Has plenty of defense for Thompson, so he really should be fine here. Cap, I know you love Death Prophet, but it's just the swarm swarm. Whoa, 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 whoa! My control! He's in trouble. Successful rotation from Seb. This dude has completed his BOTs. He's gonna start showing up all over the map. And still a, a kind of lack of offensive vision from OG right now. They have planted one aggressive observer ward in the western jungle. No Run right away, does have any chance, I can't believe he popped the healing cell there. Surely Matumba Man's just going to be able to chase him down as there was really nowhere to run to. It's a build, so I was very curious to see, seeing as how active Matumba Man is early on, should he tank up or should he just try to go for kills? And right now it looks like he just wants to go for kills. No tail. Needs to be bailed out here. The Rusev is going to be able to get the last one. It looks like Matumba Man. He thought he had a freebie on the Abaddon, but it was... They need to kind of hurry up about it, too, because Team Liquid is beginning to, uh... to get some serious farm on that Medusa. Currently sitting at 7,200. They're going to be able to find GH here. A good kill for sure. As he steals the Enchant Totem. Not going to do too much for him. Top, possibly now that he knows that the lasso is down, he feels a little bit safer on the map, seeing as how he did not go for anything like a Lincoln's build. And he does see Bad Rider. He's going to be able to get the swarm on him. The TP out immediately oh, by the Seb and the Wrath of Nature. Helps cut him down 9 to 7 now. Summoning Treants and hoping he would cut the right tree down. This but. game of cat and mouse is uh, probably infuriating for OG. All they want is one little pickoff, and then they can start pushing objectives. They know it's too much trouble to invade all the way into Medusa's jungle, so they just want to find someone on the exterior of the map. Oh, he's gonna cut over. He saw the Fury on TP out, and they know they can just sandwich onto these supports. Wukong's man goes out, immediately gets the stun onto Lich to make sure there's no chain frost. Now they're gonna have uh, the Rubik dead as well. GH is gone, and Miracle's gonna get caught. Does manage to get off the stone gaze, but can he actually fully get out of here? Fisher. Another long range Fisher from Jarek. That'll cancel the TP from Miracle. Matumba is trying to go for the kill on his Zep here. Zep drops a little bit low, but Matumba can't commit the now. Blink Dagger on Jarex now being up. That's going to definitely help out their team fight and their initiation. They're going to try and chase in, see if they can find him. They spot my control. We'll be able to blink forward lasso him. There's going to be GH there immediately. Oh, he's got a shield. Sonic shield. Thompson comes in. Now he gets lassoed up as well. What is he moves by GH? So the chain frost is actually going to be negated there by Seb moving out of the way. Thompson still unable to get off the Wukong. So man finally goes down with a great Fisher coming out. Jarex managed to line it up. So Thompson staying alive inside of his own Wukong. Man, and now my control can't do enough damage. That extra armor is too much but Tom man wants to be able to get in there but now he's hopped inside the trees he's able to jump out OG with a full retreat no tail maybe caught here as he tries to go inside the roadshop and denies die. himself beautifully set up there denying pretty much everything from liquid they only got the kill on the earth shaker out of that support for support exchange so liquid actually despite some heroic plays from GH stealing that aphotic and still only come out with two support casualties Brings a lot of hope for this OG squad right now. And now we're seeing a teleport. They want to go on top. Oh, he gets a hit on him. And now, if they can just strike like a fast Oh, oh the I can't believe Frost. that. To deal with this Monkey King, but a pickoff like that is leading them into the Roshan pit right now. But Seb is going to reveal. Can he actually get some sort of steal? Jarek's going to jump in. Echo slam out. Angels on the deck is going to be picked up just in time by Miracle. Jarek trying to get away. Fisher's going to be able to solve things up with the Chain Frost. Make sure he falls. And now, they actually... And uh, Liquid have proven to be very good at converting on those power spikes. I remember an earlier game against Pain. Oh, but yeah. Fisher for Fisher. A tub of men trying to get out the swarm. We'll be able to clip Jarex here. Thompson is on the high ground. But oh, he's the he's down. My control. You know exactly what you were up to. Thompson is still alive, though. At about half HP with the double damage. Make a short work of him. Oh, that extra armor doesn't do a whole lot because my control has the minus armor out from the medallion as well. They chain frost bouncing around. They do the score. The like, are going to be falling here. But Miracle and Matumba Man just manning up together up against Anna. Matumba Man barely gets away from Anna. Just in time is going to be able to drift away. And it's left now for Miracle to be able to fight this out. Matumba Man's going to come back in with a little bit of health, and Anna is already slowed down by that Scotty. The Mystic Snake clips him as well. He's going to be able to get to the shrine, though. Can they still get this kill? I mean, we've got a DD. He's going to buy back going. just because of that. He tries to get
get another Insane on the Tumble Man, fails to be able to do so. Miracle's completely out of mana, but he also still has that Aegis there. Could just could try to take that item away from him first. And they have so many heroes here that Liquid, they drifted into deep, deep OG territory. I'm not sure if Miracle's gonna be able to fight this out for a second life. Enchant Totem, just keep him stunned. But here comes the rest of Liquid. Enchant Totem and the Echo Sand both being used to control up Miracle, but he's almost dead now. The man is completely out. Can't try to save him, doesn't actually get it. Miracle falls. Anna stays alive after a monster chase that leads Liquid astray. Now the jump in from Thompson is going to be able to find Kuro as well. Takes that bounty rune, yoinks it away. OG. It was like anybody online can hear that, but it was sick in here in the stadium. It sounds like this is an Aegis Prophet. You really wish you built a spirit vessel. Everyone on Liquid had just a sliver of health. I don't know how bad they're playing. Look at that, Seb. Immediately going for the extra takeoff. He's going to be able to find GH. He immediately buys back, but the CO3 is already dead. And look at OG. As fast as they came in to take an objective and take a kill, as fast as magic damage that allows you to somewhat ignore some of this Wukong's command armor. Problem is that BKB is now online for this monkey game. But as well control. Just... Going to be snagged up here. Jerex. Trying to chain the disables, does manage to get a two-man Fisher stun. Pops the Enchant Totem because he has to. He can't afford GH to be able to steal that. Even if it costs him his life, he'll go ahead and do that. Miracle, though, is going to be caught here. So Gates goes out. OG trying to burst him down real quickly. Unable to do so. Anna turns to stone with his BKB activated. He's going to go for Matumba Man here. Fortunately, oh, time lapse goes down just in time. The Swarm does manage to hit Seb here, but Matumba Man doesn't want it. Thompson with his Wukong command trying to catch out Miracle, but they drift outside of that area. Thompson forced to run into the... Actually, below the Monkey King when it comes to farm. Yeah, so. They would much rather have either this Medusa or Matumba Man's Weaver. Also, shout out to the fact that Ana's freaking level 23 right now at uh. 28 minutes into the game. He is eclipsing this Medusa. He's only level 19 right now. Jump into the back line, Boundless Strike, trying to burst down GH as quick as possible. All he can do is get off a fade ball before he falls. Kuro is going to do something similar here, trying to stall up Thompson as best as possible. Then Echo Slaver slowing him down just enough for OG to be able to catch him with the lasso. There it is. The other support falls on the side of Liquid. Blistering pace of just searching for kills nonstop and not really going for these objectives. They find Matumba Man here. They do not have the lasso though, so I'm not entirely sure how they're going to be able to get this one unless somehow Seb oh, just finds him all nice. the time. Found the strike misses, but the time lapse is there. Jarek's is going to be able to hit him. Blind and Fisher. he's now out of the Shikuchi. Maybe they get him with the enchant on him as well. They locked him down, but some of them falls. OG looking for kills nonstop. And they. A little bit surprised that Mind Control is spending time in this top lane. Right now, Roche is. Uh, going to respawn eventually, mid lane. Ooh, they spot him. They're gonna get off the Wukong's man. BKB activated two man for a boundless strike set up. Miracle trying to get off his stone gates. Does manage to do it, but they just turn away from him. Go for my control. That's why my control runs to the help of Miracle. Echo the slam. Laid down by Jarek. Stopping Kuro. Catching Miracle as well. They're gonna be able to finish off the captain of Liquid. Now they just need to be able to chase down the carries. Miracle's force him off his manta. Turn and fight. See if he can get a kill out of this death because he's certainly going down. Furion dies as well in the back line. And Zap is able to get that kill. He boots and travels out of here because of the... And now... This Roche is just melting. GH and the rest of Liquid are smoking Holy up. Holy cow, look at that. Miracle is far behind the average. They are not going to be able to get in the Roshan pit in time here. And GH may be caught as a result. Maybe it's going to be Miracle instead. They do manage to get a bit of an initiation out for the telekinesis. Miracle does pop his stone gates, but he's inside the Wukong's man, and his man is being burned. He's got a force staff over to the high ground. Jarex is going to be trying to get away. Turns around. Fisher, no, he turns to stone! That could have been the end of the game right there if he'd gotten off the Fisher and stopped the TP. Miracle's dead, and he has no buyback. <laughs> Liquid is so close to the edge. Uh, they, hey, think e about that. e, e blade, blade on Monkey, Monkey King. King. Yeah. Yeah, so I know in an earlier game we had seen an E-Blade on an Anti-Mage, and the way I justified it is, if you don't necessarily want to go for a Halberd, an E-Blade's kind of like a Disarm, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's like a healthy amount of agility, and then you have this defense mechanism against a lot of just right-click damage out from the Medusa and Weaver. That's the only way you're going to be dying. Finding Miracle, good. There is the Telekinesis. Seb did not pop his BKB going into this, but they do manage to steal a lasso. If they can get Miracle out, but the oh, end of the again. Jarek's fighting his time, finding the opening. They've got a dead. Miracle's dead for 100 seconds, and that's got to be it. OG can run down heroes if they want, but injectives, the base is all there. Look at the Sauna troll. He wants to establish.
Liquid need to get out of this game right GG. now. He dies the fountain and forces the GG call from Team Liquid. OG taking game one. Now this is the OG everyone wanted to see. This is the OG that won TIA coming up dominant over Team Liquid. Back, trying to body block him. Anna and No Tail are going to be able to beat back both Miracle and Kuro here in this bottom lane for the time being. It really goes to show the strength of this five position. But GH has now shown up here in the lane with mind control, so looking to be able to enable that Tide Hunter at least to be able to get those aforementioned levels that he needs so much. And Crystal Maiden's already worked her way to level two, so Arcane Aura is online. Definitely a huge asset to this mind control Tide Hunter up top. Yeah, he could just keep on spamming out the, the smash. We've got uh, the PA who can do something similar with the dagger, GH. Takes a bit of damage here, but between having a stout shield, high armor, and a very high base regen, Nyx's assassin should be okay against any of this harassment. We're gonna go again here. Miracle kind of committing here for the kill onto No Tail, but backs up. A little bit afraid of that uh, flame guard. They don't really have the magic damage to bring it down, so. And he actually goes all the way to base, so. No tell me think about smoking up to a different lane, or he's just gonna teleport right back. Shows up, gives Anna a, he a healing self. It's like the early game uh, Kunkka. You know, you're always able to bail out your supports when it comes to regen. GH in trouble here, gonna be slowed down. Spike Carrot Base does go out. Magic Wand is gonna be able to help him. They need another nuke from the Oracle to secure that first blood. Mind Control is also gonna drop low here. The Boar's Keeper is slowed down. Jerex is gonna help him get that kill as well. Just because I was interested in what he was trying to do in the offlane, if he was innovating anything, and I always remember his Beastmaster was so good. Because he was, he's really good at the micro and that no tail is going to fall here in the bottom lane. Miracle and Curl find that no tail is just a bit too far forward. And they've got such long range to be able to capitalize on that too. Nicely done. Stealing away that big troll. No tail is going to TP back in. But Anna not really following up here. Back over to top lane. Jarek's dropped a little bit low. Mind control. Needs to be careful. As they're dueling bot again. Yeah. Do a lot. Oh, bottom lane. They are going to be able to finish off No Tail again. Dying back to back. Damage on tops and a rotation from Jerex and No Tail. They tried to catch the Razor, but Matuba Man was wise to it. He's, if he backs up this much, though, is potentially giving up his tower. GH is going to come from the side. A beautiful impale that lands on a Jerex in the side. Spike Carapace is going to be able to do more stun damage to Thompson. He just turns around, quickly blows up the Nyx Assassin, but well worth it for the trade off here. As Matama Man is going to be able to run down one. Oh, the Killing Oracle as well. Slowing down No Tail. This could be three, but Matama Man just stays on top of him. The Crystal Nova will secure that. In the early game means that you are consistently one step ahead, like you said, with this medallion. Crystal Nova going out, blocked down, Primal War is gonna go down. They definitely killed! Dally, Miracle has left the lane, he's just starting to farm the jungle now, and even though he doesn't have a Battle Fury, it's still he can spam the spells thanks to this Crystal Maiden. They did deny the mid-tier one tower, but it's still a very early tower loss just off of a kind of a rough laning phase. And now GH. Another slide is going to be coming up. They are going to try and pop that spike carapace to be able to dodge some of the damage. The impale's going to miss. Oh. Anna managed to sidestep that one. And slide. Oh. There you go. He just stands. That was going to be able to stop that TP. Jerex. False promise on himself. They're going to have to chase him for a while to be able to get this. But eventually he does fall. Bottom lane. Spike carapace going out once again. Going to be able to. Uh, well, no. It doesn't stop a thing. It's the LSA. Oh, no. going to play Chase. The two supports end up following, but Matama Man cuts in from the side. Now the Ravage going down, but the LSA keeping the Tide Hunter in place here. They have a little bit more nuke damage. The lead up, they're going to be able to get a double kill for Thompson. All he needs is to get like a Carapace on a Flame Guard. It's just that he's only got two points in Carapace. Three points in Impale. They're going to try and go for the sandwich here. A beautiful three-man Impale with a Crystal Nova follow-up. They're going to try and run over these heroes. Primal what they do turn around and kill that Crystal Main real quick, but Jerry's going to fall. GH almost dying as well. How is OG actually managed to turn this off of such a great initiation from Liquid? Seb does take a lot of damage to the False Promise where it's out. They are going to be able to turn and kill the Razor with the Laguna Blade. And my control's dead as well. What happened?
Liquid just got run over. Shrine activated by Mind Control, but uh, he's not getting away from these heroes, so... Wow. Four dead on the side of Liquid. Field off. They cannot easily stop him, and they're just shutting him down instantly. Three hero impel bought time for the Crystal Maiden to come in, but Ravage wasn't available. And now Ana bullying this Miracle Phantom Assassin. They just don't have the physical damage to burn through this Ember Spirit, although they do have the Carapace. They are going to be able to get the Impale. DA jumping in, not getting the crit just yet, but they do have the Frostbite to slow him down a little bit. Oh, what a From flight. Lucifer Remnant, Gush is going to be there. They have another jump for the PA. Ravage is going to go down. They're going to make sure this Ember Spirit dies. Now they're going to be able to catch Seb on the side here as well. Dagger slowing him down. Furion thinking about the TPing, thinking uh, maybe not the place to go to because Seb's definitely dead. OG. Not when you have to ev invade deep right underneath an enemy shrine. And this is a setup, I think, where Liquid, uh, ooh, Anna, looking for the catch here. Slight chain, Spike Carapace to be able to slow him down here, but GH is not gonna risk his rot life to try and bail out Kuro. Just shows up, defends that tower, and the rest of OG can maintain a very aggressive stance here as they start pushing in for this mid-tier two. Seb's gonna come in from the side, they have spotted Kuro, he's gonna be able to slow him down with the board, doesn't get the chains, but they're gonna try and run on top with the remnants here. Kuro men to lock him down with a frostbite, but Anna will eventually get this kill. Tidehunter, gonna be primal roared here, I'm not sure if that's really the target they want to go for, he's still plenty tanky. But Tum Man's gonna try and zone him out, the Impale's gonna be able to land on Selena. They turn, want to be able to go for that kill, but the defense of the Oracle is gonna be able to provide a lot. Now the Tum Man's in trouble, so go to Blade, they're gonna be able to cut him down the last couple of shots into the high ground, they go, be able to get locked down that kill, mind control. Pops and gets a carapace off onto that Ember Spirit. It's a sentry, but he escapes the radius. Is he able to get out of that aim? Oh. Got it together, though the Impale turned around, but he's dead. Jeng. Mind control really daring them to commit a little bit harder for him. And Miracle's just been farming this entire time. They really do not want to fight into this Aegis. Meanwhile, OG really want to be able to take this Tier 3 and utilize that Aegis in some way. Finally, the Tide is healed up. It's going to come back into play here as the Ember Spirit drops a little bit low. See if they can get that free Aegis away. I mean, but what are you going to do? Get out. You're going to Ravage on his first life? That never feels good. Carapace comes out. And the next round of Creeps comes forward, that backdoor protection is going to fall soon. They just keep on poking at my control, making so he doesn't feel comfortable being on the front line. And now, they actually give up on hitting the range racks. Go for melee. Are they really this confident? They're going to be able to keep up this fight. It's seeming like it. Miracle, again, just continuing to farm out this entire time. He has no intention, it seems. Bot bounty rune as well, so Phantom Assassin can't even get that. They see a DD rune. And Nyx will leave it there for the Ember Spirit or somebody to pick it up. Liquid are moving in mass though. Gonna be able to catch Seb. Primal War goes down, but that's only slowing down the inevitable here as Seb should be caught. The rest of OG may still want to be able to take a fight here. The Guardian Greaves keeping Seb alive uh -oh. for a long time. Yeah, got the TV. He's gonna be caught here. LSA onto the Razor, turns around with the Lagoon to play, trying to finish him off. The Ember Spirit commands with the AKB activated. Now the Ravage goes down as the Ember Spirit jumps in. Managed to get the stun, but he has another remnant until the high ground he goes. One more remnant, jump away, go for the TP out. Can they see him? They have Mana bird, but no stun. And uh, so all that passivity from Liquid is not going to remain for much longer. And now the team of Liquid has a slight net worth advantage. OG gonna go again here with the Ravage still on cooldown for Mind Control. They're feeling okay for them. Right now they're going for the range tracks. They are going to be able to burst down the Nixon Assassin who instantly buys back. Matumba Man in a good position is drained away a lot of damage from Thompson as they try and turn out when he pops his BKB. The Ember Spirit's going to run back here. The Remnant straight into this range who has so much damage on him right now. Needs to be able to get one more Remnant away. The Oracle is going to be able to save him. Miracle pops his BKB. He goes for Thompson down here. But the Primal War comes out from Seb. Gives Thompson a little bit of space. There is that save from, from Kuro though. He's going to be able to bring down Seb, but Thompson is still being chased out here, only just now getting his TV scroll back up. He couldn't TP away earlier, and so he will still be found. Matumba Man, they're gonna try and finish him off here as Anna is able to get that kill. Kuro is quite low as well, but he's able to get him with a slide of fish, but he'll die to Miracle here as he gets a double kill dominating Stration. So they just chill, run back to their jungle, continue to farm up. This is the penalty for them losing their top shrine so early on. They have to spend a lot of time claiming map control. And they'll lance it. Now 
Another Ravage goes down. They're gonna chain these disables. You see the back line mind control. What he thought of that clip area. Meanwhile, the rest of his team doing Roshan. They see two heroes way out of position to be able to defend this. This is a good opportunity, but the blink in just an anchor smash to be able to slow down some damage. Does not have Ravage for a full minute here, but mind control really does not want to give up this Aegis in cheese to OG. I mean, BKB is up for the Razor and the Phantom Assassin. They don't necessarily need the Ravage. They just need time. Razor has now rejoined the fight. Oh, Fury on teleport in and instantly gets impaled. I'm not sure what that was, but now the BKB is going to be acted by Matumba Man. They're going to stiff on top of Thompson as best as possible. That's why the Primal War is required by Seb, and now they're just going to go for the Beastmaster instead. And is forced to jump into the high ground here. They go to disarm onto the gate. Doesn't matter though, the Beastmaster already dead. Now they caught the Ember Spirit. JH caught him once again. Oh, the Daggers. And LSA from the low ground trying to slow things out does have a Laguna play, but since because of that spike carapace, now Thompson maybe caught his Yule Scepters himself, tries to go for the kill on a Kuro. You got that. Yeah, but a triple kill for Miracle is what's important here. Liquid, go for Seb now as he fought back to get into that fight. Oh. And he will die again. Adam Assassin comes online, then our Oracle can, you know, just buy us free pushes because with his ultimate, Amber Spirit should be able to do things. We want mid lane, Crystal Maiden. Thoros like, what are you guys doing here? My what's team's oh. tier two, I guess you can have it. What's the sister version of Fratricide? <laughs> Oh, Miracle. Oh no, not the Oracle Nash, again. Yeah. Rotation. Oh no. Oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> it's just cutting waves non-stop. Dope goes mid, goes top. And jumps away as soon as there. Anything scary oh, jumps no. away trap. GH was seem like the game's going pretty well for Liquid. Yeah, but it could the be going way... even more well. <laughs> the only way I see it is like the only way they could lose this is somehow they drop a, <laughs> a rapier. It's so, OG. Kuro. In a bit of trouble here once again as he's been separated by his team so many times he just can't quite get back to them. OG I mean, will okay. be able to get this pick off, this but at the same time, he's just slowing things down as much as possible. The rest of his team has already taken that tier three. Now the melee rex is gonna fall as well. This phantom assassin, what are you gonna do to her? Nine, eight second BKB remaining. Age is still remaining for another two minutes. Mid lane of Rax completely claimed. Liquid are saying you had your free time with the Aegis to be able to push objectives. Now it's going to be our time to do so. As you can see, OG is very reluctant to be able to take a full fight here. They're just trying to poke at Miracle as best as possible. Hit that back line as well. Yeah, you need magic damage pokes though. The physical damage is doing nothing. She has so much evasion and armor. Backs out, doesn't need to use the Satanic. Good play by him. Gush goes out. Jerry quickly dispels that one. Getting rid of the slow, but it's going to be found eventually here. And let's go, Scepter TP out. No, GH is there with the impale. And that is going to be the Oracle to head for the tour fly back, very likely. And this backdoor protection is not going to come back anytime soon. They are going to proceed. Say like more and more objectives. Still have time on the Aegis. Only, actually, no, only have like five more seconds left on the Aegis. Oh, gee, are they really willing to give up? This melee racks. Well, the Aegis is finally down. They can take the team fight. The Nyx has an already 10. Anna shows himself. But a beautiful Ravager for him. They jump onto Anna immediately, drops low, but he's going to be saved by the Oracle. The question is whether or not he's going to survive. A nice three-man LSA. He goes back to the fountain. Should be a healing up to full here shortly. And Seb is going to be able to find his initiation. Primal Roar onto the Crystal Maiden of all heroes. Another LSA. Thompson keeping his distance, just delivering so much artillery, so much magic damage into Liquid. He is going to be able to force him back. Anna wants to be able to commit here. Catching up to more. No Tail doing the same thing with a heavy teleport in. We'll be able to drift away with the Invis. Seb. Oh, no. He is back. Miracle, he's gonna be able to come in. A big crit wipes him out and in trouble as well as he's out of mana right now. Nyx Assassin thing on top of him, waits for the impale. Slow down by the dagger as well. But the spike hair base, they've got Anna dead. He does have a buyback though. No tail has clipped himself, but it's not gonna escape this tide enter. He knows. Sprout teleport, not gonna happen. GH gets him with the impale. Mul Spirit who just narrowly escapes death after a rabbit. <laughs> Okay, I mean, the tier two is stopping them from taking Megas. That's why Anna's holding on to his buyback right now. But apparently, oh, the they just want to go for the tier fours until the carapace. It has been the bane of Thompson's existence here. One buyback going out. That's going to be the Lena. Anna really wants to hold on to his, but it may be come at the cost of the tier fours right now. One's already dead to go for it. Anna buys back Liquid. Not that scared, it seems. They start backing up. But the Yule Scepter is going to be able to catch the PA. They have four staffs, though, to be able to save him. I mean, her BKB is going to be up in two seconds. I don't know if they have another smoke, but I would not be surprised if this is a fake back. Crystal Maiden has rejoined. too, so... 
They're biding their time, looking for an opening. Granted, Ravage is down for another 40 seconds, and they more bounty runes. They gotta finish up the pipe for Mind Control, which, you know, that was an item they talked about a long time ago. Mind Control did not have the greatest start to the game. Oh, there it is. It's a base race. No, certainly not. They're gonna smoke up. Making sure to kill the Hawks. Now, if you see a 2k crit, you're like, there's no way he bought a rapier, right? There's no way. <laughs> Dobson, the daggers. The dagger? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's better you that. Like, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> No-Tail showing himself. The 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 on the axis. Miracle tries to make the jump on a No-Tail here. The infant, there's a nice Ravage. Triple Ravage with a triple dagger. That's going to be Anna going down. Primal World goes out, but Seth's been taken out of the equation as well. And now Liquid certainly have this game in the bag. OG in a three versus five. No buybacks available. Mega Creeps claimed another Yules. The Guna Blade, Four Man Impale from GH will end this game as OG calls it. And we are going to a game three. For European Premacy between Team Liquid and OG, we're going to push this series to the limit, it seems. be the ultimate late game here right like morphling is the ultimate late game and troll like troll and morphling yeah. versus storm that's i just oh, assuming man. that's a miracle storm yeah i don't think that's a it's pretty obvious he cannot afford to go super greedy he needs to snowball very very early on it's just that it's going to be with the combination of this mix assassin gh is going to need to get a lot of levels because a solo storm spirit is not going to be able to get pickoffs bat rider is too difficult to kill brewmaster is too difficult to kill shaker can do too much especially with these fissure blocks Robotic Shield gets rid of some of the sticky napalm stacks, but still has it up. Nice impale from GH. That'll give Kuro some time here. He's trying to juke inside the trees, but he's going to run out of space eventually. Tries to go for the Mist Coil. Deny. Doesn't get it, though. The damage just happens too fast, and Anna is the one to pick up the first blood. That is the perfect target for the first blood. Another oh, nice Fisher block. block. Five sticky, sticky napalm. napalm. Five sticky napalm stacks. GH kind of stuck inside the trees right now, but now No-Tail is going to be blocked oh. by Carapace. Bouncing back that adaptive strike onto Anna. He's got stick They're doing a lot of damage to him right now, but he's going to be able to pop oh. that stick, but he's dead. What? He had a fairy fire also. He was not expecting that much damage to come out. Okay. He already had like nine stick charges. He wasn't going to get much more, and... He gives up a freebie after picking up first blood. Even at a fairy fire as well, yeah, that is not a good look. Meanwhile, top lane, double ion shell onto Seb, and he's gonna get taken down. Seb is just gonna take that one, and Abaddon takes the northern one. Like it would get three. And the Dark Seer continues to just cut the waves as much as possible. Mid just seems kind of a farm fest where the Storm Seer gets low, but it's always Bearing in these healing salves, it's just bottom lane where we're going to have the action. Anna gets caught by the impale, takes a decent amount of damage, and is forced to waveform away here. Again, excluding that one time. Midland. Miracle drops a bit low. The TP's actually canceled here. Miracle's going to go into the trees, has a fairy fire to keep himself alive, but Thompson's much faster and will be able to find him as Miracle wasn't able to juke it out. The impale's going to come out too late. GH arrives here, and he does have an ion shell on him now. But doesn't have an impale up. Oh, Spike Carapace is up. He's going to be able to get one stun. My control is going to give him the search. Try and see on top of Thompson. GH gets that kill. A massive kill it is. In a ton of experience. GH is going to be super happy with that. Yeah, he gets a lot more. Of the oh, but look at that. that. Split used. An early rotation from the Brewmaster to shut down the Lycan, who's already having a tough go of it. Kind of shadowing here. He's got the vision. He might just be able to track down this storm ship before he gets to the shrine. shrine. He's going to try and make the jump over in a sec. Activates that shrine. Looks like he should be okay now. Control's going to continue to beat on him for a while, but I'm a little bit surprised Thompson wants to take this. Now he sees Kuro's very low. Meanwhile, the top lane we're still fighting out with Anna trying to chase down Kuro. He will be able to outdistance that troll. They're going to turn back to this Earthshaker now with the impale double ion shell to burn out that support. And the more going to be forced away. Thompson's still low, trying to get away from Miracle right now. But Thompson, he seems he has overstepped himself. Run into too many liquid heroes now. And Willen with the Iron Shell of the Dark Seer, as well as the Helm Dominator creeps. They might be able to catch No Tail. Oh, it's not going to be hit by the Centaur stun. But it looks like with the Surge, they may still be able to run him down as long as they get the Wolves in front of him. But Matumba Man is stopped. Iron Shell. Microwing, but it doesn't matter. The Iron Shell.
I think he maybe thought, like, with the Helmet Dom creep, he would run down the Brewmaster and force him to Primal Split or something like that, but yeah. it doesn't actually happen. They're going to be able to get the Spike Hair Face done onto No Tail oh, Follow Up. Imperial, a great use of the double damage rune, and Miracle goes straight for that mid tier one tower, but Thompson's not going to let it happen so easily. Whirling Axe is out. Miracle has pretty much no mana left. They're going to be able to vacuum back. The Primal Split go does go down. Miracle pops his stick charges and is able to get enough mana to be able to jump into the river here, but can he get far enough away? Thompson actually gets a little bit too close. Gets first oh. down. Doesn't get off. He doesn't even have a level of his ultimate, actually. And Seb's primal split is going to be useless here. Is no tail trying to slow down some of these heroes with Seb Carapace. back into his regular form immediately. Spike Carapace and stun. And now no tail, the last lone defender, but he's not going to be able to do anything. He barely escapes an impel. Yeah, yeah, I'm just surprised that he's willing to take some of these engagements. Exactly. While not having that battle trans GH. Skedaddling on over here with his Vendetta. Miracle's gonna help him jump here, and GH says, well, you've got that kill under control. Let me just go ahead and sneak over to Sun. Getting some vision here, double eye on Shell, just staying on top of Thompson. Thompson Losing should know anything. what's going on here. He's gonna pop the Whirling Axe into this. Oh, what? Surely he had to have known about that. He was taking damage with uh, Whirling Axes. And now they're gonna find another one here as Jerex into the trees he goes. Gonna be Centaur stunned up, controlled pretty easily. Not an opportunity to get off the Fisher. He has to be able to finish off No-Tail here, but doesn't actually have enough. May try and blow the regen now as the Morphling is that bottom lane can't be gone on. Meanwhile, Seb is going to be caught here at top. Impale into Centaur stun. Seb dropping quite low. Has the Primal split up, but doesn't really want to blow it without a team fight happening. And so instead, he's just going to die to a Vengeance. They're going to go try to go for No Tail. Couldn't quite get him. The Primal split is successfully going to go out from Seb. And they're going to look for mind control here. As one stun comes out, Flame Break as well. No Tail's going to blow that lasso. Try and pull back this Darkseer. And you said he's top net door. This is going to be a big kill to get, but he's so, has so much sustain. Look at that. Between the mech, the Euphotic Shield, he has gone back up to full HP and is still trying to deliver some damage to him, but has to wait for him away. And now Seb's back to his regular form here. He's going to be pulled back. Oh, oh, back set up into the Centaur. Send the Echo. Oh. Jerex with a big win. My Tummy Man's almost done. Miracle's going to try and chase down Jerex, but a Fisher managed to stun up Miracle. Now he's almost entirely out of mana. Jerex, he will take out to that last hit. GH being run down. Wave for no him. Not to kill him. They don't have to. But still, I'd take that trade any day again because Liquid have to play fast. They have to keep taking these objectives, but the miscoil spam is making it very, very difficult to go after the Darkseer, which is why... Oh, long zip! Oh, finding the troll, that's a big kill thing again, a battle trance goes down, focusing on GH right now, but thanks to the surge as well, the guard agrees, it is so hard to be able to stay on top of these heroes, they just kite him and finish him off. Slams that we've seen before. No tail. Trying to set up here, but he's going to be found by GH immediately, he's going to be impaled up. And that's just a simple pickoff. I don't think oh, too scared to go out. As Liquid is just dominating this northern jungle, but we got TPs onto the shrine. Oh, they're gonna come in. They're actually gonna try and wrap into this one Seb. In position, pops one, gets off the Primal Split just in time. Now he can control up some heroes. He's gonna go for the Darks here once again. They have the lasso. See if they can burst him down with the Euphonic Shield. Removes that lasso so quickly. And Mind Control has a fresh round of surge. I think they're gonna run out of disabled here. The vacuum ends up grouping them all up together for the impel, but the Echo Slam goes down. Bat Rider ends up falling. Wayform on through. Tons is quite low. He's forced to pop the battle trance right wow. down. He's gonna be able to finish off the Lycan as well. Oh gee, in a position somewhere and they quickly swoop on in for a great team fight. I mean, they created that position. Initially, it was just a tier 3 defense. Morphling wasn't even in that fight for the majority, but Seb TP'd into the shrine. Jerex gets a choice Echo Slam on the low ground. And now, Kuro just has a matter of time. Strength adaptive strike. <laughs> Kuro, you, <laughs> you had to know. Oh, he knows. Just throwing away some TP scrolls, but he's buying a lot Where's more the time. Ads? He's buying a lot more time, and maybe, oh. just maybe. Uh -oh. No, Anna. Adaptive. A little bit surprising, actually. There is no Orchid yet online for Miracle. In fact, he's going to be going for the Bloodstone after this Kaya. GH goes for it. Trying to deal with this troll. The Centaur with the Ion Shells coming in as well. We'll be able to get the stun on the Bat Rider thanks to the Spike Carapace, and it looks like instead of the troll, they'll get the five position of Ochi. Maybe he got hit first before he popped the, the spike hair face or something like that. No Tail's gonna be caught again here. Long jump over for Miracle. We'll collect the kill. And now Thompson on the run, but it's surged up. Nick's sad and it's gonna back off. I guess part of the reason why the troll didn't go for the Battle Fury is you just give another option for the Nick's assassin to carapace off of. They have this Morphling, Morphling. 
And I realize he's taken some damage. I think so, because he's already morphing into strength here. Yep. Gonna wave for him into the trees. Go for the TP. Oh, the long jump. Man, the end of the lands. There's the catch. Lincoln's gonna be able to block one of the tables, but not both of them. And he doesn't have a wave for him immediately. He's gonna need to be able to turn into somebody here. Pops into the Nyx. Instead, he's gonna get a stun out. Back in the board fling. He goes another wave for him away. He's actually gonna be able to get out of this one. Miracle though stays right on top. He had enough mana to work with. That impel. If he didn't, that was not gonna happen. That's why Ana built this Lincoln sphere so he could theoretically get away with that. It's possible. Actually, no. The Orchid, I think, may have popped the Lincoln. But regardless, that impel was clutch. And now Kuro. The in for the troll, the Euphonic Shield goes down, Kuro is setting up this fight, what a beautiful impel, the Echo Sam comes in, really only takes a little bit, nice vacuum, and with the shell as well, that's gonna be a problematic, Seven, they managed to get up the Primal Split, maybe they can still turn this one as Thompson runs back into his shrine, actually sees an opportunity to be able to finish off this sword, but no, he doesn't get the instant, Miracle's trying to get away right now, they need to be able to lock him down, but the Euphonic Shield's gonna be able to force some opportunities for Miracle to be able to jump away, the Fisher continuing to lock some heroes down, the Primal Split's gonna wear out soon, and Seb, if I remember right, he is quite low, oh, yes, they're going to immediately jump onto him as he turns back into his regular form here. Miracle is able to get a kill out of that. If only they could have killed that Storm Spirit, maybe OG could have had a more even fight, but instead they Lewin and Liquid are just hightailing it straight to that tier 3 at top lane. Time and time again. The ultimate factor. Oh no, Karakas on the adaptive strike. Don't tell me. Ed has already been picked up once and he's all by himself. He dies. Why is he dead? And why is he dead? And Liquid are full mana, full HP. The way to pull off these fast strategies is to have sustain for days. You got the Mist Coil, you got the Greaves, you got this Dominator Aura, you've got Lycan with units galore. They mow down the top lane of Rax, they proceed to the mid lane, and that Morphling is dead for another 30 seconds. Look how fast they hit tack once the, uh, the extra bit of health comes out from Kuro. The Crimson Guard trying to protect this lane of ranks, but they still do not have Anna. What a Fisher for man Fisher setting things up. They're getting a lot of damage on a curve right now. There goes that borrowed time. But the melee ranks is being focused by Liquid quite a bit here. They're gonna turn onto the troll as best as possible. What a oh, Oh my god, it's OG! They just get wiped out here! Great Fisher Echo Slam that's gonna be able to set down some things up, but a huge sustain for Team Liquid allows them to remain healthy here. They're gonna pop the shape shift and try and go back. They're trying to get into this as best as possible. They do have the wall going out, and looks like the troll is gonna be dying here as he just bought back, and now he's dead for 70 seconds. And a trying to set things up as a Nyx Assassin right now is gonna try and get away with the waveform as best as possible up in two seconds' time, but he's pulled back in by the vacuum. Spirit Vessel stunned as well, now he's gonna be falling here as Nodel can't save him! He cancels his TP, two of his cores is dead! They have to give up this mid laner Brax, and now OG are left. Thankfully, they have a tier two left in the bottom lane. That means Liquid will not be able to go for Megas. And they do have the backdoor protection slowing things down a bit, but what a win for Liquid is now they're up to 17k, two lanes of Brax, shrines are available as well. Does this team ever leave? Look at how long lane by OG may end up being pretty useless because that was pretty much exclusively placed. Two of them were placed just in hopes that they managed to get it. Oh, they have the spot! They know where the troll is. He's been silenced up. He's unable to get off the panel trance until the last seconds, but still, he's stuck in no man's land. Look at Miracle taunting Thompson. Takes a nap. They are going to try and find a fight, though, because the storm isn't here, but fighting into a Lycan who's already shapeshifted and an Abaddon, you don't really want to go on storm any better. Now they long jump in. They are going to be able to grab No-Tail. Take him out real quickly. Two the game has slipped out of your fingers. If Liquid is doing so well at doing the OG strategy, who knows that OG could turn around and give him a piece of the Liquid medicine. Oh, the Spiker base, nice. Impale follow up onto the troll. No initiation though from Liquid. Is there gonna let OG just kind of run in here? Go for GH. They're gonna pull back in this Nyx Assassin. And is gonna jump into the high ground here, but pull back yeah. by the vacuum set. Yeah. Yeah. Again, and now Terrace is gone. The big team fighter is out of this with a huge wall coming out from my control. It's gonna be gone up by Thompson with that battle trance, the Aphonic Shield, and the Guardian Greens helping to be able to keep him alive for so long. Look at him. They're just beating him down. Finally, they do get the kill, but it costs them so much. And now Thompson realized he just has to TP out of he will be successful, but Anna is not going to be as lucky as he can't get away from Miracle. Beyond Godlike triple kill for him, and it looks like there may be one more hero on the menu here, Seb. Another TP away, but he's not as lucky as Thompson in that regard. He goes down in the... Yes. Four man smoke up. Miracle will make his jump. He's got some patience oh thanks God. to this ward, and he's going to be able to find Jerex. That's the most important hero at this point to be able to grab. And he gets no tail killed as well. 
OG left with only oh, three. They're no. going to be able to get Thompson. And it's looking like OG just going to go out with a whimper down. 23 Bloodstone Sharks on the Storms for a 28k net worth advantage. It looks like OG are just at death's door at this tournament. Mega is available here. They're going to make the jump on a sim. Manage to get the sound side to a yeah. vacuum. Centaur stun once again. My control just keeps on landing these combos. Anna is going to be silenced up soon. If the event can see on Tommy, just manage to get the sound. Jerry blinks into the last second, but look at Jin Liquid. They actually split apart just as Jerry tries to make furtive Echo Slam. They do manage to get the control up in a miracle, but now he's going to be able to jump in the back line. Go straight for Jerry. He's now out of the equation again, and the Morphling is so low. Might not be able to make it out. He's trying to limp his way back in the zone, but another Centaur stun. They just keep on hitting a second one lands after that now Seb's gonna be silenced as well drop back down into his doom buybacks coming from both the carries of OG but it's still a very healthy liquid as they're gonna demonstrate just how strong they are by taking on the two carries inside of their fountain tops and popping his battle trance miracle give him a double rampage that's miracle ending the game against OG GG OG try to fight against it. The Liquid just execute this fast-paced strategy so well. Every single hero yet again. And GH, MVP of the series, 100%. That Nyx Assassin combined with that mind control dark.